Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Thursday, 25th of February, 2021. I'm smiling because I've just read one of these facts. It was really funny. 1,144 interesting and fun facts that you need to know. You need to know. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, is this true? In Switzerland, if you fail your practical driver's license three times, I failed twice, I remember, um, you are required to consult an official psychologist to assess the reason for your previous failures once you're allowed to, before you're allowed to retake the exam. That might be quite a good idea because often I think that it's just like managing your nerves, isn't it, rather than your ability to be able to drive. Crying is actually very healthy for you. It helps emotionally, it helps, oh my God, I can't read today. It helps emotionally lubricate, oh my God. That's like the eats, shoots and leaves. You know that book of grammar, eats, comma, shoots and leaves or eats, shoots and leaves. Right, I'm gonna start again. Crying is actually very healthy for you. It helps emotionally, lubricates your eyes, removes toxins and irritants and reduces stress because I think actually cortisol comes out as well. In the US, April the 2nd is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. I'm a fan. Are you a fan? Leave me a comment in the comments section. I find it can really, you know, turn people this. They're either into peanut butter and jam or they're not. <laughs> There is a Russian published novel called The Last Ring Bearer, which retells the Lord of the Rings from the perspective of Sauron. Oh, that's dark, isn't it? If you rearrange the first letter, or the first letters of the main characters' names in the movie Inception, Dom, Robert, Eames, Arthur, Mal, Saito, they spell dreams. Oh, Dom, Robert, Eames, Arthur, Mal, Saito. Yes, oh my God. Oh. In 2006, a rare grizzly and polar bear hybrid species was confirmed in Canada called pizzly bears or growler bears. I do this without even thinking. It's like a spoonerism. Global warming is causing polar bear habitat, habitats to melt so they find shelter elsewhere and end up mating with grizzlies. Wowzers. Okay, let's fold the page for next time. Yes. Light Sears Tarot. I know. I don't know why I winked. <laughs> it's the Light Sears Tarot. <laughs> oh, give me a wink. I know I can't see you. I've talked before about my dream comment section where everybody's in a little thumbnail video and I'm like and you're you can wink back like we're winking back Gemma we're winking back Ooh, nice how's the weather where you are it's raining here it's been raining for a few days actually and it's been dark It's like a kind of, you know, Nordic Noir, those, um, the Swedish crime, like the bridge, that sort of thing. The weather's <laughs> been looking like that for ages. Oh, nice. At the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. Patience, my dear friend, patience. There's something here about uprooting something, itchy nose. I've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and we had that the other day. When you get the seven of pentacles in reverse, you're kind of doing an assessment. You know, it has the workman leaning on his hoe and then he's got kind of um, a pile of leaves and then he's got um, pentacles and it's like, yeah, you know, I got this far, etc. But I'm not sure whether I put more into this or whether it's time to put down my hoe, you know? Always a question. And the interesting thing here is that we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So if you look at this, this is a very good spin on um, the Rider Waite where you normally have a man and he's like 
hammering out the pentacles and then he puts them on this spine and it's like I make the same pentacles every day, I come here at the same time, I hammer them out, I put them here, this is what I do, this doesn't change. It can represent tiring of your routine, whatever that is, either your home routine or your work routine. So here you can see this person, um, she's making stuff, she's been working on things, she's got projects on the go, she's having she's lighting a candle, she's having a bit of a break, okay? It's in the reverse though, when this is sun in Virgo, okay? And Virgo is a sign that is reputed to like order and things happening at the same time and service and being of service to others and hammering things out. When you get the seven of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse, you're starting to get a bit of an awakening about doing it differently. Maybe um like it could be if you've got a job that is nine to five or a job that is feeling routine you're feeling like doing a side hustle you're feeling like breaking out you feel like you need to um, work more on your hobbies or be more to yourself or do more exercise or do more lying around eating chocolate biscuits whatever it is you want to deviate from the straight okay that kind of straight and narrow path and what more beautiful than the Ace of Wands? Kundalini energy, okay? Mojo rising. But also a little wrinkle in this. I love this card. The Seven of Swords. Look at that bad boy. Now it is in the reverse. Love that she's incorporated the moon. For me, the moon is so important in the Seven of Swords. I love the Seven of Swords and you know, you know, if you're buying a tarot pack, for me, the Hermit and the Seven of Swords are my cards that I look for. Um, in the Mythic Tarot, there's that beautiful moonlight. Everything's happening by night. It's got a yin energy about it. It's hidden. It's in the feminine realm. Sorry, my contact lens is going weird, which it shouldn't be because it's new. It's in the feminine realm. It's... Oh that's better. It's, oh, no it's not. Sorry about that. Oh my god, I just went to rinse my contact lens and there was a hair, probably one of my hairs. Um, I was like, <laughs> wow. Okay, seven of swords, eight of pentacles in reverse. There may be something that you feel is not fair about this. So in other words, if this is about um, wanting to perhaps discover more of a side hustle than do your nine to five job. It could be that that was triggered by something sneaky going on or something that you felt wasn't being, not necessarily that you're being lied to, but just that somebody was holding something back. They weren't being straight with you. They weren't being honest with you or even that you were doing somebody else's work for them. They kept dumping their work or whenever you did do something really well, they jumped on it and took the credit for it. It's that kind of energy, okay? I'm gonna take, what am I gonna take? Yes. Chuck's Pet Sino healing card on this. Ha! <laughs> of course. Okay, very interesting. We get the healing card of truth. And these two people are shedding their costumes, their outfits. This is definitely a reading that's saying you may not be willing to fit in, okay? You might not be willing to fit in with other people's values or keep your mouth shut or fit in with other people's lack of values, I think is probably a bit closer to the mark. Let's have Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. No, not that one. That one. Oh my God. Right. Someone's drilling in the street. We can all feel comfortable. How interesting is this? So we get that seven of swords and it's in the reverse. Okay, and we're talking about the moon, yin, the feminine and the way things happen under borrowed light. So they're not clear, it's not being said. Something about truth. And then we get the healing card of truth. 
with Chuck Spezzano, finding your own truth, being true to yourself. Then we do the oracle card and we get the truth be told. Let the truth be told. And also the truth will set you free. A mask. You can no longer go along with something. Gosh. Ooh. It doesn't always work out that clear, but that's clear. That is clear. Yeah, I'm just going to take from the heart of my bottom oracle. Wisdom of the hidden realms. <laughs> yes, wisdom of the hidden realms. Hello, Queen of Bedlam. Okay, the Queen of Bedlam. This is someone who likes to stir the pot. It is someone who likes to mess things up or likes to make things difficult for you. It can be a female, it often is with the Queen of Bedlam. So there may just be someone who is not, um, not particularly on your side that's motivating your need to break free of going along with a situation and breaking stride. Answered prayer. And it feels like an answered prayer. The truth is an answered prayer, okay? If there was going to be a title, the truth is an answered prayer. Could be a t-shirt. Let me know in the comments section. There you go. Okay, I'm going to go and eat some toast. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates and I'll see you soon. Namaste.